This is Otto Grock. Beta version 10, the Bo Derek release. Otto Grock, Otto Grock, Otto, 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 Otto. Kids, ask your grandparents who Bo Derek was. Hey, put that picture back up. How about a picture of Flo instead? You think you're funny, don't you? This is our old process flow. Originally, it was designed to just support the Autogen agent model. So we created that JSON file by default. Then, if you wanted a different framework, we transformed the original JSON to another JSON and so forth. The problem with that approach is that there are too many different agents and frameworks to support. And if framework A is vastly different from framework B, the translation can get messy. Plus, that can result in unnecessary calls to our API, costing us time and money. Hey, now we're talking. Damn it! Put that back up! Ignore him. Our new approach stores the information gathered in our original requests in a generic model structure. At that point, we're just a simple translation layer away from producing whatever JSON or XML or any other format any AI agent framework might require. If you're thinking that this appears to give Otto Grok the potential to act as a universal AI agent, workflow, and tool generator, capable of serving developers using almost any AI platform, you're right. We like ourselves, don't we? I spent most of this week writing the code for our new process flow to live alongside our current code. Let me show you how that manifests itself using this Llama model from Grok. You'll need to set this new debug flag to true to see these features locally. They can't be seen in the online demo. We've cleaned up the interface quite a bit since beta version 1. Hope you like it. I've asked Otto Grok to create an online website thingy. Hope I don't lose you with the technical jargon. The project is our base model. It can hold one or more workflows. For the time being, we'll just work with one. Being multi-workflow ready has exciting potential. Each workflow instance can hold one or more agents. You'll be able to give every agent as few or as many tools as you want. We can use our shiny new debug button to peek at our new model structure and the data it holds. They're listed in order of their hierarchy and you can drill into each with handy dropdowns whenever there's a one-to-many relationship. Our project model holds the deliverables, status, dates, workflows, and more. Likewise, our workflows model offers us a list of all our agents and a number of other properties. Don't be overwhelmed. These models are like cargo pants. You're under no obligation to put something in every pocket. They're just there if you need them. Having this sort of range means we can accommodate developers whether they're creating streamlined, token-sipping solutions, or robust industrial projects chewing through data like... Like you, at a Chinese buffet. I really should unplug you. Easy, big fella. Anyway, if you keep an eye on the debug properties in Autogrok, you can watch the malleable property values change as they're manipulated. Here, we see our project manager has been created with multi-model support. We got a request for this on our Discord server just as I was pushing it out to GitHub. Having Autogrok refactor our agent's description, we see the new property populate our model immediately on the right. The same goes for tools. No tools show up as available in our dropdown because we haven't yet assigned any. Just because they're built into Autogrok doesn't mean we should lug them around when we're not using them. But as soon as I select one on the left, we'll see it appear in the dropdown options on the right, and all its properties are available for our review. The code is even formatted all pretty-like. It ain't as pretty as Bo Derek, pal. Anyway, that's what's going on behind the scenes. We're trying to migrate from old to new as painlessly as possible for you. There will be glitches and hiccups, but we're still in beta, and we appreciate your patience. Special thanks again to Scruff for stepping up both in coding and on Discord. You'll see he and I going back and forth in the forums on various things. We don't always agree, but I don't trust anybody who agrees with me all the time. He and a few others are helping keep this project going and keeping me on my toes. I can't thank them or you enough. Wait, that's it? What do you mean? Where's the part where you beg for the approval of strangers? You have to like me, subscribe to me, click share, please. I don't sound like that. You sound exactly like that. Auto, 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 auto,